go. Ah, oh, right on time. Right on time. Right on time. Thoughts to easier. Two lands. All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to the Monday video here on CoolStuffInc.com. It's Explorer time. That's right. We're going to be exploring e Explorer. Um, and uh, because Explorer is obviously the new format on Arena, which is super exciting and very important for me, Explorer is one of the three formats that's going to be played in Worlds in the World Championship later this year, which I'll be playing in, and it's a very important tournament. So uh, it's about high time I get my butt in gear for Explorer. We're starting... With the kind of like level zero, this is the deck kind of deck. They banned Winona Joiner of Forces. They banned Expressive Iteration. They didn't ban Grease Fang Okiba Boss. Was that a mistake? Was that not a mistake? We're going we're gonna to find out. So, of course, Grease Fang Okiba Boss is a 3 mana 4 3. It's a rat pilot. Beginning of combat on your turn. Return a vehicle card from your graveyard to the battlefield. And it gains haste. Now, uh, you know, if we're going to get back Heart of Kirin or something a little more fair, maybe Sneak His Chariot, sure. But. Kind of like Stoneforge Mystic, you just get to look through uh, and see what's the biggest, dumbest vehicle ever printed. Well, here it is. War of a Spark gave it to us. Parahelion 2. I don't know if Parahelion 1 did, but Parahelion 2 is quite the uh, the house. Six mana, sorry, eight mana for a 5 5 flying first strike vigilance. More importantly, whenever it attacks, you make two Sarah Angel tokens and they're already attacking. So. Eight power of Sarah Angels and the 5-5. Five five. Now, Grease Fang, of course, says at the end of combat, you have to bounce the vehicle back to your hand. But those, uh, those Sarah Angels stick around, too. So, pretty insane swing. Um, then, of course, the Helion's back in your hand. You can discard it and just do it again next turn. So, that's the combo. Now, the real big question is, what do you do with the combo? There's lots of ways to build the deck. You can build it kind of all-in Mardu. You can build it Esper. You can build it, you know, maybe like as a beatdown deck with like black-white. Black, with more like, you know, creaturey elements, more of like a fair slash combo deck. But this is one of the more uh, more combo oriented versions. However, there are a lot of good cards in here. Of course, Fable the Mirror Breaker, Blood Tithe Harvester, cards I'm very familiar with from Standard, uh, are just good cards. Uh, Croxa, of course, as well. Other ways to win here besides Grease Fang. And a real cool element is Soar and Vengeful Bloodlord, also from War of a Spark. Uh, Formula Planeswalker, Four Loyalty, uh, gives your things lifelink, which is kind of cool. And then I can ding things for, ding, ding your opponent for one, which is whatever. Real important card here is that I can reanimate things. So this thing can return Grease Tank from the graveyard, return Blood Tithe Harvester, return such a supplier. So another cool way to use the graveyard uh, in a Planeswalker that's pretty uh, pretty cool as well. So deck super cool, can beat down or combo, which is great. Thought Seize, Fatal Push, all the good interaction. Nothing too fancy here, right? And uh, sideboard, important to have some things that don't use the graveyard. And Hazard the Fervent's a really good one, honestly. Kind of just thought sees the crap out of them, kill some of their stuff, play a Hazard and kill them, which is great. But a lot of other cool cards here. Fracture, Go Blank, Portable Hole. A lot of cool sideboards and a lot of cool stuff going on. Not going to say this list is perfectly tuned because, frankly, I'm kind of just getting my feet wet in this dork. But we're going to battle and see how broken this deck really is. But first, we work from our sponsor at CoolStuffInc.com. Let's get right to the games. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Alright, round one. Here we go. Playing first. I think we're going to send this one back. I'm just going to... I haven't played a lot of Explorer, but... I'm going to mulligan this one. Into a passable hand. Not great. Honestly, not great. But we can keep this. We can keep this. A couple Harvesters. A couple Bloods. We got Soren hanging out, which is pretty sweet. Going to ship the Needle Verge pathway. You know what? I think the path I'm actually better than the Inspiring Mantage. I think that uh, there are a lot of fast lands of a deck, so you got to be aware of like not wanting to draw too many of them. Probably going to go Foundry on one, Black Source on two, so it's a chance we draw a, uh, a different fast land and want to not play uh, that one. So have all our colors right now anyway. Don't need more red or white, so I think that makes more sense. Then we're going to play a Crucible of Defiance. Sure. We draw a Grease Fang. That's half the uh, half the battle, right? Play Harvester Segio. They're playing Yorian. Some sort of fires deck, most likely. They're going to rip apart my Blood Tithe Harvester. Sure. 
We draw Thoughtseize, and unfortunately we only have one black source, which is pretty awkward, honestly. Um, the question is, do you want to play a threat this turn, or do you want to Thoughtseize? Is there anything we're scared of as far as Thoughtseize goes on turn three? I don't think so. Let me just play the Harvester here. Play this on uh, white or red? Probably red. We have Crocs on our deck and things, so... And play Harvester, and just say go. As far as what we're going to do with the blood, nothing I want to do yet with the blood. I kind of want all three of these cards, so... There's your blue. There's a turn pass. We draw Fable the Mirror Breaker. Fable's really good. Uh, having to Thought Seize. Thought Seize in his turn is, and not playing a threat kind of sucks, but I think we got a Thought Seize. This is their Fire's turn. Uh, so we're going to cast Thought Seize here and not be super thrilled about it. A little mana inefficient, but let's take a look and see what's up. Fancy lands. Cycle Shark Typhoon for one. You got me. One shark it is. And their hand is. Double Transmortify. Well, that stinks. Uh, all right. Well, now they can Transmorgify their shark into something nasty, and that's probably going to do it for a very combo -y format. Um, all right. They can't even cast Narset. I guess we just take one of the Transmorgifies and just hope that... Uh, Hope their first one isn't good enough. We can't even, like... I guess we get blood for, like, a lightning axe. We have, what, two of those? It's our only real, uh... Only real out here. We got Sweltering Suns, Transmorgify. Yeah, I guess we're gonna... I'm gonna blood. Let's see what we can find. Let's ship the, uh... I think the Fable. I'm gonna keep Soren. And draw a supplier. It's not very good. And now we're actually out of ways to kill it. So we'll just say go here. The sacking of blood does make us look really, really weak. So we're definitely going to go for it here. And uh, is it Asian country? What is it? What is it? It is Asian. Okay. Well, got to steal my land. It's very rude. It's very rude of them. All right. I mean, don't have anything else to do with the Asian just yet, which is good, I suppose. Uh, now we're going to blood and get rid of our supplier, I think. Try to find a black source, or a dispute we can't cast, or a card we can't cast. Awesome. Great. So, I guess we attack. It's kind of funny how their combo is literally just stone rain, but it's uh, it's good enough here. It's good enough. Birth of Miletus, sure. More white sources. They have a... They have a oh, they stole that, right? That's that's mine. That's not theirs. Um, and a Triome, and a Yorian, and say go. Now, of course, with Yorian, they can flicker the agent, which is terrible for us. We did draw a Lightning Axe, which is actually pretty good. Uh, so we're going to say go here. And they're going to try and Yorian this, and we get to Axe it, which is kind of cool. So a little bit of a... It's not great, but, you know, it's better than having all of our land stolen. So it's something, I suppose. They're going to attack for two. I guess we just kill it and don't take the two. That might, actually, that might, that might cause them to play Narset instead. So I want them to cast Yorian here. So yeah, we're going to... We're going to do it like this. So if they cast a Narset instead, then, like, they can defend the Narset, and it's pretty bad for us, so... So I'll get this. This card's Sky Sovereign. They get the Flicker Birth for a little extra value, but... We're probably screwed, realistically. Obviously, we have two lands in play, and they're, so they're, like, nine, but... Um, we can just draw a Black Source, which we just did, which is good, which is good. And we can actually get the boat back here, which is kind of cool. Then they can Sweltering Sun's Grease Fang, and we can just uh, soar in it back, maybe. Um, Interesting. So we get back Boat. We attack and deal three to the... Hmm. Sweltering Sun's is pretty annoying. We Grease Fang, Boat, Attack. Uh... They take a pretty big chunk. We don't actually kill anything. We can soar and do it again. We have, we have, then we'll have the thing back in our hand, too. Other options just like to dispute the Harvester, which just feels pretty awful. Eh, I'll just go for it. So, bring back the the boat and deal three damage to, I guess, the Orion. Can't go face, so... We will crew. And send in the boat. No point sending in the harvester. They have two blockers for it, so... Oh, I'm sorry. I screwed. I did attacks twice. I kill Yorian here, too. 
I that's right, that's really good. I right. So that's great though. Yeah, that's cool. So kill Yorian, get him for six. Now they're five. Uh now they can like they can't actually sweltering suns and Narsa because of the uh triome. They have an army of O threes, but sure. We have Sora to get it back. Oh, never mind. That's a main deck hearse. Okay, that's going to cause a lot of problems for us. Alright, well, let's just uh, draw some lands, I guess. That's cool in us. Alright, there you go. There's a land. So, obviously, if we land and try to um, get return anything, they're just going to kiss and get rid of it. So, let's play this on black. Let's play sword and just ding him, I guess. Realistically, we can't try and bring anything back. Let's exile it. So, target them. Cycle Trium, sure. Down to four. They will gain two up this thing, unfortunately. Hard casting boat is uh, definitely on the menu. Annoying that uh, Narsa can turn off the uh, part of our Dewey dispute. Fires. All right. Fires. Luca. Alrighty then. Yeah, I guess that's. Uh, I guess that's game. Sure. Yeah, alright, well, next game. Next game. That's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. So, we're gonna bring in Thoughtseize. We're gonna bring in Go Blank. I think Hazard's reasonable here against the Graveyard Eight. Fracture. Coligan's Command. We're gonna cut all the Fatal Pushes. I'm gonna cut Can't Stay Away, because I wanna be, go easier on my Graveyard stuff. Because they're gonna have Graveyard Eight, obviously, so I wanna make sure we're not too reliant on the Graveyard. Cut the Croxa. I think the Lightning Axes are pretty bad, too, honestly. They kill Yorian, but, like, it's not that important, I don't think, so. Push Grasp, Path of Peril. I think this is fine. Right, Bubby's not, not terrible, either, but... Let's try this. Let's try this. That, our hand was, like, a little awkward, so... Try it again. I'll play. <laughs> Alright, Mulligan again, sure. I mean, it's a hand, I suppose. Uh, we've got two kind of awkward lands. We have Harvester, Go Blank, Hazard. Black, Go. Soul Guide Lantern, yeah. Good thing we have is Hazard, definitely. So we're on the plan B this, this game. We're just going to try and kill him. And realistically, like, Grease Fang is a 4-3. You can't just attack them, you know? So Harvester, Grease Fang, Fable, all cards that can just, like, attack your opponent, which is reasonable. Double Lantern. Slow down there, partner. Slow down. All right, so we drew a pathway that's not white, which kind of stinks, but it's still fine. We just jam here, I think. They could obviously play uh, some sort of sweeper, which would be pretty terrible. But I think I want to just get the uh, get the things going here. Play like this. Blood up. Say up. Worst case is Lance Walter Suns, obviously. But Go Blank doesn't stop that. So untap and draw a land. All right, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's uh let's attack and see what happens. They can easily just have Shark Typhoon Transmorgify here, which would be pretty crappy. But land Go Blank. Discard Agent, land. Exile them both. Pass the turn. Hopefully not Typhoon into... Alright, excellent. So there's your Trium. Gonna kill one of my Harvesters? Sure. Play land. Alright, so... Do we want to blood this Fracture? We want to make sure we can play Hazard and only have one card in hand. So if we don't blood this and draw don't draw land, we uh, can't play hazard and attack, which is pretty important. I'm gonna blood this, so I don't think this is important. Ship fracture. Trying to empty our hand here. Uh, that'll do it. That will do it. Alright, so hazard. 
the fervent. Oh yeah, remember when we used to have animations back in the day? Oh yeah. All the old cards are so cool, back when they care about animations. There are three. Good luck beating this one, yeah, that's what I thought. All right, nice graveyard hate. So, the plan B. Uh, very, very important to have a plan B if you're a graveyard deck and explorer, uh, which we do, which we do, which is good. Kind of run it back. Kind of run it back. That wasn't bad. We mulliganed. We just hit played a few creatures and played Hazard, and it worked perfectly. So, all about it. All about it. Keep that going. Keep that going. It's the kind of energy we want, you know? Hazard. All right, on the draw. <laughs> that is a uh, a hand of magic cards. All right, we got a mulligan again. I mean, this is a double mulligan right now. If we had some way to discard in our hand, we can keep, but this hand's atrocious. We have a four drop, no way to do anything with it. Nothing for our dispute, just a terrible hand. Mulligan. <laughs> oh boy, we do enjoy mulliganing, don't we? Um. Can't really keep this hand either, honestly. I mean, it has good mana, but we just don't need these power aliens. We just need some sort of forward progress, you know? All right, Mulligan again. That's much better. Much, much better. All right, so ship a Blood Crypt and... So the extra Black Source, so an advantage, sure. All right, I mean, as far as small hands go, this is a reasonable one. Land birth, very annoying for our harvester. All right, well, we have drawn land, land, unfortunately, which is not good, so. We'll see what we can do, we'll see what we can do. Red land specifically, then go. Okay, uh, let's start by attacking. Rats, they blocked. All right, we are going to attempt to blood away a Blood Crypt and draw another Harvester. Yeah, I mean, definitely could get Sweltering Suns here, but what are you going to do? That also just has Morgify too, so no uh, recourse. Maybe we wanted like some number of fatal pushes, like try and break up Transmortify, but ugh, oh god, alright. And now the crappy things we can play Hazard, we can't act with it. So Fable's not bad. Play supplier. Mill over Go Blank, Soren, Grease Fang. Play Fable. Say go. I had a bad feeling about this turn, I'm not gonna lie. I had a bad feeling. No, nothing? Wow. <clears throat> Alright, discard Swamp. Draw Fable. Alright, I mean, we're just gonna cast Hazard and do our thing, right? What do you got? Ain't nobody got time to hold back. Attack with everything. Make treasure. Odawara, the Soaring City. Alright, that no, wasn't that bad, honestly. All things considered, you know, if that's the. The best they got, you can't complain that much, so. Triome. Yorian. Okay, also not that bad. Draw land. Okay. Flip the old, uh, Diggy Diggy. Play Hazard again. Play Lando and just do the thing. Attack again. What do you got this time? Upgrade. Sure. So, Kiki, Kiki got great value this game. This is your solid two for one. Take six. All right. I suppose a hard cast Agent of Treachery next turn would be pretty, pretty bad for us. Because we are pretty all in the hazard, right? But we mulligan to... We'll see. We, 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 we mulligan to just five this game. So, being all in on a card is not the end of the world, you know? Play land. All right. Untap and draw a Goblet Shrine. Let's ship that right now. 
We can do better. That's not thought seize. That's not thought seize. Fable. Attack step. Attack. Treasure. We're rich. There's always that. And I think we just keep casting these. So. There are 10. Again, hard cast agent is an absolute devastating, devastating turn events for us. But we're all going to five. We're in the game. We're in the game. Let's see. What this fable does is going to probably seal our fate for the game. If they keep the cards, we're in trouble. But if they don't, we got a chance. We got a chance. All I'm asking for is a chance. You know? Oh, they kept both cards. We're dead. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well. Um, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, we can cast the Parahelion. Um, that's kind of fun. But they're going to Yori and just steal it. Oh, no. Oh, uh, that's... Uh, we forgot why they banned this card in, in other formats, you know? Not a very fun card. Not a very fun card. I guess we just discard Parahelion. You know, they're just going to steal it anyway. So, we're trying to get lucky into our Grease Fang, I suppose. It's probably our best out. That's a land. That's a deadly dispute. All right. I mean, we got looks. We got looks. We're going to go black, red. I'm sacrificing the supplier. This is the worst card. I just want to stay the man if possible. So, sack supplier. Mill over land. Soren thing. Grease Fang? No. Just a land and another supplier, which is not good. Which is not good. They get to steal again next turn. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. We have two fables. Uh, play supplier. Mill over. Three more non Grease Fang cards. Play lands. There you go. They're also building up to uh, copying their agent, which is always fun, too. Play Orion. Flicker stuff. Uh, if we draw. Grease Fang now. I, I don't really think it's good enough. They didn't flicker the reflections. Huge oh, It's interesting. We draw, ah, right on time. Right on time. Right on time. Thought sees, yeah. Two lands. No, actually, insanely good end. Okay. Uh. All right, all right, all right. Flip Fable. Now they have two Fables, and they have Active Reflection plus Treachery. Yeah, we're just dead. All right, they got us. They got us. Uh, tough games, tough games. A lot of mulligans. Lots of mulligans. That's okay. That's okay. Oh, one. Round two, off the deep end. On the draw. This deck uh, doesn't seem capable of keeping an opening hand, huh? All right, well, Mulligan. <laughs> Listen, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. All right, if you don't laugh, you'll cry. Mulligan. Sure, hand's great. Uh, keep this. We want to keep. Uh, I would say we're probably probably just dumping Fatal Push Soar in here, honestly, and just keeping a uh, Harvester Grease Fang and lands. This way we can uh, draw a Parahelion and do the thing. Hopefully. Maybe. Alright. Draw Blood Crypt. Instantly regret bottoming a spell. Draw Land. Instantly regret everything else. Um, Alright. Let's play Pathway. Play Harvester. So they go. Suppose you could like conceal that we were white by playing the Blight Step Pathway on red. Um, I wanted to keep it for a second black, but I'd be wrong. They play Fable. Smart, 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 smart. Good turn. We draw a Godless Shrine. Don't want to play Grease Fang on an empty board here. We're just going to... Uh, we also can't Blood either. So we have literally all lands. So I'm just going to play this tapped and say go. And then we'll just like see what next turn does for us. Can always uh, Akanuma, mill three, return a creature. They discard one card. Okay. Do have Hive of the Eye Tyrant for a little bit of Graveyard Hate. Take two. Untap. Play Supplier. 
Millover, Creature, Soren, Dotsies, no good. Uh, yeah, not a not a great start here. Not a great start. We're gonna play, I guess, the Blight Step Path. This will Needle Verge on white, and just say go. They almost assuredly have like a Fatal Push or some sort of like a Mule Spell up. Unfortunately, it's so gonna be cast Breeze Fang to just kill it, obviously. So that's bad too. Alrighty then. Looks like my old standard deck. Uh, okay. Attack for that. Very bad play, I think. They should definitely should have waited before attacking, because I was going to block and try and hit Power Helion. Maybe get a little lucky. How about two Power Helions? How about two? Alright, so pretty clearly they have a removal spell here. I'm going to loot away a land and try and draw Thoughtseize. Close. Also close. Not quite, but close. Um, yeah, I mean, what else can we do, right? We're going to play Supplier. Mill over another Parahelion. Just going to play the old, uh, the old boss. Move to combat, maybe? Possibly? No? Alright, sure. Fair. Good news being we have three Power Helions in the graveyards, even a attack with Trespasser and a Reflection attack. I'm sorry, they can, they can actually hive the Eye Tyrant too. So they want to hive also. They can get all three Power Helions. Not going to though, not going to. Alright. Um, goodbye Power Helion. Oh wait, never mind. I, I, I didn't count the ETB on the Trespasser. Yeah, we're screwed. Uh, okay. Mill over the fourth Parahelion, maybe? No, no, no. All right. Actually, I guess that was bad, because they, they can just get rid of it next turn. Yeah, we're, we're just super dead. Um, we are not running so hot today, are we? Jeez. Hey. <laughs> sure, you got it. Uh, we got Takanuma, but obviously, uh, it's going to be difficult to use it properly. Alright, let's return a, a Grease Fang, I guess. I mean... I could play Land and play Blood Tithe Harvester, but it doesn't seem to be beating this board right now. I don't know what's beating the board, honestly, so... What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? We're going tonight. Oh, you just, we might just be dead, right? Four, eight, eight, we're just dead. Alright. Um, I would like to keep an opening hand. I would, I would appreciate that. I would appreciate that. We're gonna bring in uh, Thoughtseize... Hazards for sure. Coligan's command seem, seems reasonable. I'm going to cut the can't stay away. Going to shave a little bit of the graveyard stuff. Um, I can see where we cut suppliers completely, honestly, because they're kind of slow and crappy. Push. Lightning Axe. Like, Go Blank is fine. Yeah. The suppliers are just like too graveyardy, I think. But let's try this. Let's try this. Poor Lord Xander. Oh my god, we're keeping seven, folks. Let's go. Let's go. We are keeping seven. Call the police. Turn one Thoughtseize, turn two Blood Tithe Harvester. Oh, now they're going to mulligan to five. It's their turn. I see how it is. I see how it is. Only fair. Fancy. Fancy. Down to five. All right, well, how about, how about four? How about four cards? What do you got here? You got Harvester, Go Blank, three lands. Taking the Go Blank here. Don't really care about Harvester that much. Play Passage over both Blood Crypt and Hive. Interesting. Uh, we're going on Red. We're playing Harvester. We're saying Go. Uh, 
get to dispute our treasure most likely to look for lands. It's a little weird because we like, want to keep a discard kind of, but I think making land drops is the most important thing. I think Hazard's like really hard for them to deal with, so just like playing Hazard ASAP is uh, probably plan A in a, in a weird sort of way. Um, do I want to offer the trade here? I kind of think I do, actually. I'm just going to kill this. We're way ahead on resources, so kill that while I have the blood. Then I'll sack the blood and try and find something cool to do. We got a land. And that's it. It's funny. We drew the uh, Grease Fang, so Power Helion is now stranded in our hand, unfortunately, because we didn't decide not to discard it, but it's okay, I think. They play Trespasser. It didn't even matter, so... Trespasser. We draw land. We just get their last two cards, I think. Just a pretty easy uh, take him right here, right now. Leave them with nothing. Discard Fable and the Crucible Defiance. Try and get our Hazard online. Yeah, we got no graveyard. We got it. Card's really good. Really, really good card. Big fan. Big fan. Play lands they go. Go to Knight. We draw a uh, another Grease Fang. So we're a little uh, a little hefty here on cards and in. I'm just gonna play Hazard. It's just like the most mana efficient thing to do. If I draw a land, I can go Grease Fang and Cole against me. I can actually Grease Fang. I can actually Cole against me myself to discard a card and then Grease Fang immediately. So drawing a land here would be pretty cool. Hazard looks intimidating, but obviously can't attack or block unless I have one or fewer cards in my hand. So, just a, uh, oh no, we drew a land. We drew a land, but it is a tap land, unfortunately. All right, play Grease Fang. Play tap land. Hazard's still stuck at the moment. They drew a kill spell. All right, Ray of Enfeeblement. That's a cool one. Very cheap, efficient answer to Grease Fang. They glutton again. Puts us to five, but again we have uh, we have Cole against Command Grease Fang in theory. Um, so let's do it. We're going to make ourself discard, and we're going to just shock them, I guess. I hope they didn't draw Fatal Push. Basically, discard a card and shock. Uh, we discard a card. I am sure. Target them. It also turns Hazard on too, which is kind of nice. Even if this doesn't work. <laughs> Discard my Parahelion. Did they mise a removal spell? Let's find out. Let's find out. Crack the blood. Discard a, a go blank. Draw. Move to combat. Okay, there it is. Crew Parahelion. Attack. This is just lethal, I think, right? This is exactly 18. Alright, cool. Keeping keeping seven cards. What a strategy. What a novel approach to playing Magic, keeping seven cards. Very, very novel. Very, very novel. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep it like this. Pretty sure. Like cutting the suppliers, being a little less graveyard uh, dependent. They have go blank and trespassers and who knows what else. So we can still do it, but I think hazard is kind of our plan A at this point, honestly. Just play a fair game. Thoughts these here, a no lander there. <laughs> um, sure. What do we keep here? Casting Sky Sovereign is honestly not. A bad plan. Uh, it is just a powerful mid-range card. It's a little clunky, but... We got push. This Croxa probably has, like, no chance to ever uh, see the light of day. I'm just going to get Croxa. Like, they're just going to trespass a red or whatever else. Thoughts of you, sure, that's fair. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. All's fair. And love and thoughts of these. Goodbye, Fatal Push. An interesting choice. Um... Yeah. So there you go. We draw a lightning axe. They say go. Huh. Something tells me my blood tart harvester is gonna die here, but that's okay. 
That's okay. What do you got for me? I guess Stomp will be the worst. Ooh, I haven't seen Stomp yet. Alright, sure. Maybe we could have played. Maybe we should have played nothing there. Because, like, Stomp was, like, so obvious. Oh, no. They missed a land drop. How terrible for them. Play Fable. It's dead. Stomp again. Okay, Stomp's for days. Stomp's for days. Alright. Um, discard Lightning Axe and Needle Verge Pathway. Draw Grease Fang. Which is a little awkward. I mean, we could Grease Fang the Sky Sovereign, but it doesn't really feel like a good idea since it's most assuredly just going to die, I think. Um, very interesting. Just play Land Say Go, honestly. Like, they have five spells in hand. There's almost no chance they don't have a uh, thingy. And, like, this isn't even that good anyway. We, we Sky Sovereign deal six damage and just, you know, put it back in our hand. So, all right. So, they know we have this. They're not going to cast a Bone Crusher, which is fine. Uh, we're going to untap. Draw another Grease Fang. This is interesting. Very interesting. It's a game of chicken. I uh, I think we just do nothing. Honestly, I mean, we could just cast Grease Fang. As a th I mean, maybe we just cast a Grease Fang as a threat because we have two anyway. Just really wants to not leave a black up. <laughs> like, um, so I cast it. It's a four three. We want to force some action because I want to obviously cast Sky Sovereign and kill their Bone Rushers and stuff. Ray, sure, that's fine. Get it, get it out of the way. You know, now they don't know we have a second one. And we kill that, gotta kill this, sure. The thing is that, like, the Sky Sovereign answers these Bone Crushers so well that they, like, kind of just can't cast a Bone Crusher. And they'll also be tapping out. And if you draw Power Healing, we're good to go. All right. We're ready to play this game. I am ready to play this game. Thoughtseize. Still Sky Sovereign. So now it's basically like, do they have Cole against Commander or Braid? And if they do, I have Grease Fang, which is awesome, so... Trespasser, that's fine. Nothing relevant in the graveyard right now. Draw land. So let's thought seize them. Let's just start there. Let's just see what's up. Their hand is quite good. It is the fourth bone crusher. Sorry. Yeah, the fourth bone crusher. Chandra, Harvester, Fatal Push. Um I think that Chandra's probably. It could be Fatal Push, honestly, because we want to, like, have the ability to, uh, to Grease Fang effectively. Um, they can't currently kill a Grease Fang. Also, I say they have, have Chandra, but... We could play Grease Fang, Crew Sky Sovereign, attack, kill Trespasser, discarding Vantage. And then they can't untap and kill a Grease Fang unless they can Revolt, which they can't do right now. This is very interesting. They have a very stupid amount of resources, but yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take Chandra. Take Chandra. We're gonna go for it. Just play Grease Fang, crew, attack, target this, discard a card. Now they can't kill Grease Fang unless they draw a land or a different way to kill it. Because they don't have Revolt, and they can't play this, pop the blood, and Fatal Push. Okay. We draw Thoughtseize. Uh, I mean... That's actually quite good. So we're going to Thoughtseize them and take their, blood, their thingy before they can use it. That was a great draw. A phenomenal draw. An excellent draw. They draw another Harvester? Sure. Uh, take the, this thingy. We're going to crew the old boat. <laughs> and attack. Let's see if this boat can't go coast to coast here. Coast to... It's a naval joke. <clears throat> anyway. Um, blood. Discard Bone Crusher. Looking for an answer. Of course, any creature of power three can... Oh, yeah, we like that. What a match. What a match. All the graveyard hate removal in the world and a bunch of mulligans. We still take it down. That's nice. 
That's nice. One and one. One and one. Round three. I never keep it seven every game this match. Just gonna throw it out there. I'm calling it right now. Keep it seven every game. All right, that's the first game. We like it. Pretty solid harvester into Fable. It draw land, of course, but we got a push in there too. Overgrown Tomb Yorian. Interesting. Interesting. Watery Grave. All right, so. It's on tap and saying go. All right. Uh, sure. Let's see what's up. Resolve. Need to draw a land. Need to draw a land. Our hand's a little, uh, a little chunky, but over to the sea, sure. Top bottom. Land, please. Thoughtsies. All right, it's pretty chunky. Not really too vulnerable to Thoughtsies. I might as well take the uh, Fable here, I would assume. Probably the best and least redundant card in our hand. Okay. That's a good draw. I'm down for Deadly Dispute. Let's uh, attack for three. Dispute. Sack the blood. Draw two lands. Cool. I'm down. I am down. Um, We're going to Blight Climb or Grim Climb Pathway and play Supplier. I want to keep this Takanuma in case this game goes a little longer than I plan on it going. So play this. Get lucky and hit a vehicle. Maybe. Uh, you hoo hoo hoo. All right, your turn. A double grease fang on the dollar here. Obviously, desperation. Omen of a sea. Desperation. Top bottom, sure. Passage, go. So they have the ability to play a fatal push. We have fatal push of our own. Um... We have two Reese Fangs, so I'm totally fine just going for it here, I think. They almost surely have Fatal Push, but we're going to go for it. Um, the question is, do you play Takanuma as a land or not? I don't think we do. Combat? No. I don't think so. That's fine. That's fine. Make them push this. Get him for four. Put them to nine. Untapped Forest. Sure, that's fine, dude. Harl's act. Attack. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna say go. Casting Sky Sovereign is also not crazy. Say go with four or five cards in it. It's a lot of cards. It's a lot of cards. Um, now the question is I want to go in, into it again. I don't know what they have in their deck, honestly. Like... If we don't go for it, they have, like, uh, you know, Memory Deluge, some sort of, like, card draw spell or something, or I don't really know what's going on here. Um, I think I kind of want to just go for it, though, honestly. Attack for four again, play land, have Takanuma up. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it. Move to combat. Kill it again, get it for four, put you to five. Sure, it's fine. Really isn't that bad, you know? All about that plan B. It's all about that plan B. Courtyard, go. Go on, opponent. Nothing. All right, untap. Another Parahelion. Uh, I wish to attack again. That's cool with you. Still five cards in end. Didn't play a land last turn. It's almost lethal. And we just say go. I'm just gonna... End step Takanuma set up for uh free smash and growth spiral, sure. It's a card. Didn't find a land off growth spiral. There you go. Alright. So they killed my Grease Fang twice, but we just killed them with creatures, which is totally a totally valid thing to do. Uh bring in Thought Seas, bring in Go Blank, bring in Hazards. Uh it's funny, I like to be in a spot where like I'm always cutting this card post board against Graveyard Hate. But I don't know if a deck is built in a manner where you can do that, so cut the pushes. 
Honestly, the axes don't seem very good either. I don't know what the deck is doing, honestly. It's hard to, like, completely sideboard. Um, let's bring in a K command. This is fine. This is fine. Not sure. Not sure what they're doing. Not sure what they're doing. We'll find out. Hopefully nothing, right? Hopefully nothing. Like, if the deck could be built in a manner like, uh, you know, like kind of like the, the Devoted Druid combo decks in, in uh, or Birthing Pod decks in Modern, where, like, you're just sort of like this creature deck. You can, like, apply pressure and interact and do some things, but you also have this combo, too. That'd be a really good place to be. But it's funny. If only, if only Smuggler's Copter were legal, right? If only Smuggler's Copter were legal. Oh, boy. That would, huh? That would take this deck up uh, about, like, 14 notches. Couldn't ask for a better card. Perhaps for the best, though. There you go. You see, I told you. I told you. We were going to have no mana problems these games. Keep. We were keeping seven, and we're keeping seven. Clear eyes. Full heart. Keep seven. Do we thought seize first, or do we supplier first? We also have dispute on two, potentially, so... A parahelion. Um... I kind of want to thought seize first. They could have, like... Uh, the hearse, or like just whatever. We'll just, just get an idea. They're, they're down a car. We'll just get an idea what's going on here. Good. So we now we see interruption. Cool. That's going to cool. Growth spiral. Uh, no green. Heartless act. Disruption. Take the heartless act. Just say go. Up oh, the Drew Greenland. Sure, that's fine. We draw hazard. All right. Um. I'm gonna let them dispute this if they want to. Didn't fall for it. We mill over. Thought seize, land, land. Not ideal. Kind of want to draw those lands, honestly, but. They spiral and put in a land. Untap, draw. So they have four lands, disruption, card, card. They have Narset, Parter of Veils. Interesting. Actually, extremely annoying is our, our dispute. If we don't draw a land, we have to dispute. That's really bad for us. All right. I guess uh, we did keep seven, but the hand got a little awkward pretty quickly. Uh, Going to be a weird game. They have uh, a lot of mana, but not a lot of cards. We have the opposite. We mill over uh, three non-lands. This card seems bad in this deck. Like, you only actually have six cards you can hit that are actually good to put in the graveyard. Just like four power aliens, the Croxa, and the, uh, the Black White Reanimation spell. Which is kind of lame, honestly. Cultivate. Maybe they're a, maybe they're a uh, an ultimatum deck. Wow. So they have cultivate, but decline to do it because they want to leave disruption and growth spiral. Even though casting cultivate would be, would, be, would be so good for them. Very interesting. Very interesting. We're gonna attack. Will they leave us a chance to cast dispute on the end step? I uh, I don't think they will. And they'll just cast the Road Spiral and then just say go. I'm just going to Croxa, I think. Just uh, throw a little, a little light on cards. I'm not sure. Ah, I would have gotten them. We didn't know about that. We, we would have gotten them. Obviously, we'd love to resolve the dispute at all the costs, but I can't through disruption. So, so Croxa, I just card a card. They're going to discard the Cultivate? I am shocked. Shocked. Um, they cast Spiral. Don't have any lands in their hand. Cultivate would allow them to leave up the Disruption and made up, made up the card, too. I'm shocked they didn't keep Cultivate. I'm absolutely floored. Narset again? Gross. All right. Uh, if I'm Thoughtseize, sure. Obviously, we're not uh, short on resources here. We take Hazard. We draw the land, but obviously they can force spike my Fable. I think that might be fine, though. Honestly, attack here. They can't Narset again, which is good. Um, 
interesting technique. Yeah, just whatever. We can go land Crocs on next turn. Figure where they get rid of the Force Spike now, so... They also can't Narse it anymore, so they're, like, basically out of cards. Unless, like, unless their hands, like, ultimate them and they draw, like, land or whatever. Alright, Yori into hand. Play Odawara, say go. Um, I'm going to attack Narset with both. Because I needed to die. Alright, and then uh, we're going to attempt to dispute. We still have much to learn. We mail over Double Harvester Coligan's Command. We draw a pathway. Alright, so this is like fine. We actually had a Sorum, which is kind of cool. Um, but we have we have no Grease Fangs and no Parahelions. But we have a Blood and a Treasure now, which is kind of cool, so... And no, no Grease Fangs in the top, like, half of our deck. It's pretty sick. So, a value Yorian. It's pretty good, honestly. Flicker this. We can gas Croxa also. Let's see what we draw. Bring this back. Nice bottom, bottom, please. Can we do that? That'd be cool. I'd appreciate that. Top, bottom. Draw a land. We could just cast Sky Sovereign and kill Yorian with the Blood Tithe Harvester. It just, like, doesn't feel very good. Um, I think we just cast Croxa. Also, like, Soren back the uh, Hazard, which isn't, like, great, but let's do this. Resolves. They discard a card. It's fatal push. That's gotta be bad for us to discard a fatal push. Uh, play land, say go. I guess I should attack with the, the supplier, maybe. Just more cards in the graveyard, see if we can try and spike our Grease Fang, but... Play Beseju. Interesting, because Besager can answer the uh, Parahelion. It's also their 8th land. Alright, sure, they have ultimatum. Alright. Uh, I don't know what they get in Explore. We're going to find out, though. Three different monocolored cards they search for, and then I choose one of them, it gets shuffled back in, and they cast the other two for free. So... Let's see what they get. All right. Uh, very similar to standard. Vornclex, Allrun's Epiphany, and Professor Onyx. Uh, you can't give them the Epiphany. Onyx will come in with double counters. Each opponent discards or may discard a card. If they don't, those six lose three life. We like actively want to discard cards, so that's kind of fine, right? Let's take the epiphany. All right, so they get to Vorinclex. Obviously, we can block Vorinclex with the Croxa, so it's not the end of the world. They do get a uh, a little a Onyx with a lot of stuff, a lot of loyalty counters, but the ultimate they uh, really isn't that bad. I don't think. Six times. That's seven times. I discard two. And then lose 15 life. Forget everything. Um, do we need Soren? So, seven times, five times, five times three, 15. Well, I guess they have, they have the. Oh, we're just dead to the Orion. Ah, uh, that sucks. Alright, never mind. 
It's exactly lethal with Yorian. All right, you got me. You got me. Game three. Game three. We'll uh, we'll make a third land drop this game. I promise. I promise. Wasn't counting the Yorian there. Sure. Game three. Don't worry. I did promise you all a, uh, that we were going to keep seven this game, so. Uh, I was right. No third land. We have the dispute this time, though. We can cast it before they can counter it, so. No Thoughtseize here. Thoughtseize would be devastating. Untap land and Thoughtseize would be very, very brutal. Please don't. Sounds good. Grease Fang also. Sure. Resolve us right now all the tapped out. Gotta make that third land drop. So, sack, mill over, no power helions. We draw a land, awesome. And now we have, uh, we have Fable and Grease Fang and Power Helion. So we're all rolled up. Land, go. Cast Fable. Perfect. This card's so good. It's just so good. Like, they have the kill spell. They really don't want to kill my stupid goblin, but they kind of have to because it's a snowball. So are they not going to kill it? That's great. That's great. You can just cast things for, uh, just cast, just cast stuff, you know? Play land, say go. All right, so we'll discard Parahelion. And I kind of want to keep Sky Sovereign to cast, honestly. I don't know. We do, like, really want to draw Thought Seize, honestly. A lot of mana though. Let's just grab Scarlet Land. Let's just grab Scarlet Land. We'll draw a land in our two cards, right? Yep, we did. Oh yeah, and the Thought Seize. Ho ho ho. Their hand is Divide by Zero. You can play that card. Uh, Heartless Act, Divide by Zero, Disruption, Ultimatum. All right, so we take the Heartless Act, force them to divide by zero, and just do it again next turn. I guess they would divide the the vehicle, but that's fine. We just discard it again next turn, so take Heartless Act. Play land. Play Grease Fang. Move to combat. Sure. Divide by zero. Wow. It's not just for standard anymore, folks. And we're going to have a lot of mana next turn because of this thing, too, so they have a containment breach. They're going to kill my Fable? That's interesting. I mean, we got our treasures, so we're good to go here. Say go. Obviously, we can just cast Grease Fang. Yeah, they're dead. All right, sweet. Cool. So after uh, a bit of a rocky start there, a very solid 2-1. Um, I don't think this is the best build of this deck, though. I really think that, like, if you can maximize the ability to apply pressure and then just have the combo sort of in there also, um, this deck sort of does that. I feel like there's definitely pieces of the puzzle here, but I feel like the, the optimal, optimal build of this deck has not been found yet. Um, you know, the... Obviously, Fable's great. Harvester's great. Like, Fable, Harvester, Grease Fang are, like, pretty pretty solid. Thoughtseize is pretty good. Fable Bush is pretty good. Dispute seems fine. Um, Supplier does not seem very good to me. It's, it literally... You mill three cards, but it only matters if you hit exactly Parahelion, the one can't stay away, or the one Croxa, and then a slight backdoor on, like, milling over a Grease Fang so you can soar in it back. But that's pretty thin. So, like, just seems terrible to me. Um, give me a one drop that can apply pressure, maybe. I'm not sure. We'll work on it more, for sure. We'll work on it more. But definitely um, one to watch out for. Make sure you can kill this card or don't play Explorer. It's as simple as that. So, I'm your name is RecoolStuffInc.com. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know what you want to see in the comments. What, what, what decks do you want to see? What formats do you like? You know, obviously, there's a lot of formats right now. Uh, standard Historic. Uh, Alchemy. Anyone? Um, you know, modern, legacy, explorer, pioneer, so many formats right now. So let me know what you like, what you want to see, and um, maybe I'll do that for you. All right. Thanks for watching, folks. Appreciate it. Promo code Jim5, 5% off your order on coolstuffinc.com, all the games you could ever want, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.